welcome back so in this video i am going to discuss about visa especially student visa so this video will be important to you if you are uh, going to apply for a student visa for ireland especially if you are uh, applying your student visa from uh, ireland embassy in new delhi so specifically the students from bangladesh pakistan bhutan india uh they they have they have to apply their visa from uh, new delhi um, ireland embassy in new delhi so first i am going to discuss about like a timeline about uh, your visa application so if, let's say you have decided to uh, study in ireland and then you already have got a offer letter from your uh, university in ireland and then then you are uh, preparing for your visa application form now i'm going to give you a timeline so i mean if you follow this this will be the best sort of outcome so you have to uh, you try to apply your visa <coughs> approximately 12 weeks prior to your date of journey to ireland so you apply your own, apply your student visa online 12 weeks prior to your journey then on the next week after you apply uh, you fill the form uh, there is this website called avharts uh, for ireland visa application if you don't know i will give a link uh, in the description below next week you collect all your documentation and ensure you make copies of all original documents so you i think in my opinion you um, you create two copies two photocopy of each of your uh, or original document so that you can submit one copy to the embassy and another copy you can keep uh, with you on the week 10 okay so 12 week you apply your uh, you apply online application form visa application form 11th week you collect and you make photocopies of all your original documents and then you in the 10th week you make your uh, visa appointment with uh, vfs global okay because uh, they are the one will take your all your documents and then they will and they will um, directly work with the immigration of visa officer in the new delhi then in the next step uh, week <coughs> week 8 and 9 you submit your application all documents and provide the biometrics to the vfs so if you make an application uh, appointment with vfs then vfs will give you a date to submit all the documents uh, you need for the visa application purpose right so you have you have you go to that vfs and give your biometric some fingerprints and all, all sort of things then your application will be processed in the new delhi visa office okay and that will take like depending on the situation it might take uh, like four to five weeks or maximum seven weeks to process then if you are granted visa then you can book your uh, so when new delhi visa office has made an next step is when new delhi visa office has made a decision then they then vfs will forward that decision to you either via email as well as your to your mobile number via sms now if you are granted a visa uh, then you try to uh book a flight before you granted a visa you should not book a flight okay because your visa may be rejected for some reason and then uh, that will create a mess now now the last step is if you are refused a visa you can appeal uh, for the decision by the addressing all the reasons for the refusal so visa officer might uh, be not might not be satisfied with your application and then you have to apply again the, for the appeal or the, for the decision so 
all these things you can this we can divide into eight step step one you apply online step two collect all your documents step three make a v v appointment with vfs global step four you go to the vfs office and you submit all your visa documents step five your application uh, visa documents as well as you put your bio, give your biometrics and then step five your application is going to processed uh, in the new delhi embassy step six is, is that um, after processing your after looking all your documents you have sent to the visa officer they will uh, they will make a decision that whether they will give you a visa to study in ireland or they will refuse for some reason and if you if if you are give, if the visa officer is satisfied then uh, then you should be happy then you just book flight in the step 7 and then step 8 you just come to ireland if the visa officer refused then is the last step you appeal and so on right so now uh, as far as the uh, as far as uh, as far as uh, website of the new delhi visa office they clearly uh, indicate that you should not book any flight uh, before you get a positive decision on your visa right now all these steps i can give the links in the video in the description below right and uh, you can uh, follow all these steps now uh, like uh, this is the this is uh, the like overall uh, steps but the main thing i'm going to now discuss is that uh, the documents part and what are the uh, reasons that visa might get rejected and so on now some of the student visa checklist these are the thing you should uh, be aware of before you submit your documents to the vfs number one have you printed off the awards summary sheet and signed and dated it like when you apply online for the main your visa application form in the awards website after submitting you will be getting a pdf to print that the summary of your visa application form right so i have seen visa refusal because many students um, or many person uh, forgot to sign on that printed form so you should print it uh, make a print out and you should uh, submit you should sign that document and give a date on the document number two have you completed the supplementary form fully and properly and signed and dated so for the student visa application there is a supplementary form that or that form link i'll also uh, give in the video description uh, when I applied, I was uh, not aware of, aware of, uh, of that uh, uh, supplementary uh, form. But thanks to one of my friend who was also applying uh, at the same time. And he uh, made, me, made me aware of that form because I also applied student visa uh, like five years ago. So number two is you, 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 you and that form is a bit long. You, you need to, you, you will take some time to uh, uh, fill that form okay step three number three is that have you submitted documentations on your parents income employment details and finances even if they are not your sponsor so your sponsors uh, may be different than your parents okay so even if your sponsors is uh, different than your parents you they are asking that you have to submit your parents income if there is any and employment details and finances whatever they have like their bank statements and everything okay so they should be signed by that by your parents and probably also by yourself uh, on the back side of each document okay step four is if applicable if applicable did you disclose details of any adverse or negative immigration history such as previous visa refusal deportation from another country 
or leave you have to suppose you in previously you were deported or you were reject you were refused to uh, make entry in some country all this information you sh must disclose to the visa officers because if you do not disclose they will eventually and um, get to know that and they will never ever give you um, visa for ireland that's it but if you disclose everything prior and if you give all the proofs what really happened and why you, you were refused to this country or what visa uh, why your visa was rejected then i think they will be happy that you have uh, you are very honest and you have disclosed everything so you should do that if you have not disclosed this information your application will be refused and you will not be able to apply for an iris visa for 5 years as i was saying so step 5 is have you submitted your letter of offer from the college or the university original or scanned pdf so of course only if you have got a successfully uh, admission or sort of offer letter from an university then you are going to apply for visa right so you must include your original offer letter from the university so if it is a pdf then you make it colored print and and so on number six is have you submitted documentation on how you have paid the fees and the electronic fund transfer so if you are um, going to uh, study some master degree or bachelor degree in some university in ireland you have to pay uh, some fees admission fees or the semester fees okay and you must submit be with the visa doc visa application documents all those proofs you should make clear uh, you should uh, collect all those proofs that you have really submitted those uh, 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 those fees there will be some bank transfer document uh, right pdf you should print them out and you should uh, submit with your visa documents okay now number seven is have you submitted your current and all previous passports if you were unable to submit your previous passports have provided an explanation so that's easy you should submit all the uh, passports you have in previous or at the present i think in my case i we uh, we needed to uh, make a xerox copy a photocopy of all the pages of passport so i don't know at the moment if they need that also but you have to submit your uh, original passports because they will uh, put stamp visa stamp on your original uh, current passport and step number eight is that have you submitted a police clearance certificate so this is one of the uh, very important document for iris student visa application so you have to take police clearance certificate uh, from the uh, passport office uh, right and so um, so so that you do not have any criminal uh, record and so on in the in your country so this is very important document if you do not submit uh, this document then vfs global where you actually going to submit your all visa documents is not going to uh, accept your uh, visa documents at all i i remember that so PCC police clearance certificate is important so number nine have you submitted the original certificate with the results of your English language tests so this is also another very important document and you need certain IEL, IELTS or TOEFL or any uh, accepted English language test score for the admission purpose in the universities across Ireland as well as if you want to apply for a, a student visa you must uh, appear in one of such English language test because 
if you cannot provide any English language test, you cannot even fill up in the first place uh, your AWARDS online visa application form. You understand? So there will be some online visa application form that's called AWARDS, A-V-A-T-S, AWARDS. I'll give a link in the description below. That's the main visa application form. There you must need to provide a, a English language test score if you are applying for a student visa. No matter which university, what study you are going to do, you have to provide some uh, IELTS score. I think you have to get like 5.5 or 6 as minimum for that purpose. University may have higher uh, um, uh, demand for, uh, for your test score. Uh, and you have to uh, provide the original test certificate. All copies you have to provide original as well as one copy of uh, one copy of um, one photocopy. And in the end, they will return all your original documents. Okay, so number 10, have you submitted all the documentation which was requested uh, in the two of the website um, I'll give it to you is called Ireland uh, www.inis.gov.ie or www.irelandindia.com so for so number point number 10 is saying have you submitted all the extra documents which was requested for your student visa um, purpose so if you are applying uh, your student visa to the uh, the new delhi embassy uh, of ireland then you need to provide some extra documents what documents i will give in the link in the description below now the final point is then have you submitted all the documentation which was requested on the supplementary form on uh, on point uh, on point uh, which point yes point number two step number two i told that have you completed the supplementary form fully and properly as i told that all the student visa applicant must uh, fill up that form and submit uh, so they also request some documents okay and uh, you have to submit all those things also i'll put a link in the description now this is uh, the all the documents related thing i have discussed here uh, in the next video this is a part this the, in the next video i'll discuss more on the documents